Today we're gonna talk about an add-on called Surpass that has the potential to change how artists will use Blender because it aims to make the endless possibilities of Blender's Python scripting tools more accessible. It gives you virtual scripting options based on a custom node system to generate Python code which you can then share and install as your own add-on. This simply means if you don't like how something works in Blender or you want to add something without any knowledge of coding whatsoever, it is not a problem because you can still do this using this add-on. It works like magic. You can literally create a simple add-on in a matter of minutes or just hours. This add-on allows you to make your own elements in the interface. You can create your own panels, add to existing panels, pie menus, buttons, checkboxes, and more. It provides you with the full node system. This allows you to create a UI element as well as functionality. You can access and change data like object names, colors, etc. As well as creating your own buttons to run your node-based program. It might seem complicated or something out of your reach. But once you start playing around and testing the add-on, you will see that you too have the power now to add to Blender. This add-on also contains a custom nodes that can be used to generate commands. They are used to quickly create a node tree that is compiled. You can also add your own shortcuts. These can open pie menus, show panels, or run any operator you want. You can even access data in Blender, as well as changing it. This allows you to manipulate your objects and anything else in your file. After you are done testing a few things with your add-on, you can export the finished one. And these generated Python files can then be installed anywhere. This way you can install it in Blender or share it with others as you do when you install professionally made add-ons. If coding was the reason why you were not able to add your own tools to Blender, then this visual scripting add-on is your gateway to having more control and freedom when working in Blender. If you want to give it a go, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.